Bible says it is not the power by them which they swear. Go ahead. But it is the just vengeance of sinners that punisheth always the offense of the ungodly. So it is not the voodoo that's killing people, but it's the just vengeance of sinners. Is their sin right, right. that's killing them. Right, right, right. You've done so much voodoo, most I take another wicked man to kill you. Right. The wickedness of the wicked kills him. No question. Come here. Where are you from? Hey, this is how I fit. All right. What about longer? Bobby? That's it. I'm the city of four. So, but it, my belief is that I'm going to it. I mean, I'm going to read it for you. You, you, you got to explain it to me, okay? All right, read. The stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high, uh -huh. and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Explain this verse to me in relation to Haiti. Oh, so, in Haiti, you got Haitians living there, right? Yeah. Among the Haitians living there, do we have other nations living among us? Yes. Name some. Um, they, they, they come from Africa. Huh? The other people come from Africa. Name some other nations that live among us. In Haiti? Yeah, in Haiti. I know some Dominican, I know some African. So the rulers of Haiti, the people that's running Haiti, they're, they're Dominicans? They are not Dominicans. They're, they, from, they're, they're from other countries like Israel. Israel, what, where else? Lebanon, yeah. Syria, right? Those are the ruling class of Haiti. They're not Haitian. They're not Haitian. Yeah. So pay attention to this verse because this is talking about the Israelites. Because in case you didn't know, you are an Israelite. That's the right. Haitians are the tribe of Levi. Right? Yeah, that's right. So one of the curses that befall us is that the Bible says the strangers that's going to live among us, the other people, the other nations, they're going to do what? The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shall come down very low. So in Haiti, the strangers didn't, they were not born in Haiti, like their grandparents were not born in Haiti. They came out a specific time. And when they came, they were not who they are today. But they slowly, the Accra, the Meuse, the Brent, the Beatles, they slowly got very high, and then the blacks become very low. Bring it up. Bring it up. He shall lend to thee. Do we have money to lend them? No. But they got money to lend us. Yes. You see our history in the Bible? Read. And thou shalt not lend to him. And we're not going to have anything to lend to them. Do we have Do we have money to lend to a brand? No, to a merge, to a bitch? None, right? No. So you see how the Bible is a true book? So uh, finish that verse. He shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. Are there not the heads in Haiti right now? Yeah. And are you not the tail? No. You're not the tail? Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes, because the, when you got uh, an animal, the head control things and the tails follow. They run things, we follow. Right. Do we do we control anything in our own country? No. No, right? They just control us. They control us. Yes. So let's see why. Uh, verse 15. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So look at the condition of Haiti right now. Why what's happening in Haiti is happening right now? Why? So they just the people, choose people. So they just control everything you could. You're telling me what's happening. I'm asking you why is it happening? Because the country's in uproar right now. People are dying every day. Right. Why? Because they try to control their country because there is some money. We just read the answer. You're not paying attention. It's not connecting yet, but we're going to make it no, connect no, for you. You're just understanding because I'm not understanding. You're just explaining to me. So I'm going to read it again. Yeah. If you don't pick it up, I'm going to explain it to okay. you. Verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bro. But it shall come to pass. That's the future because this was written over 2,000 years ago. It says it shall. In the future, something's going to happen to the children of Israel. So you understand. Step up. Haitians are the tribe of Levi. Because the Israelites had 12 tribes. 
We are one tribe, so right now we're going to focus on Haiti. Come back up front. Okay? If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. So the Bible says it's going to happen if we, as the Israelites in general, but right now I'm going to cater to the Levites, the Haitians. If we Haitians choose not to do the commandments of God, read, and his statutes, which I command thee this and to day. keep all the statutes, right? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses gonna come over you and overtake thee. One of the curses that the other nations gonna rule us, right? Yeah. So now, let, did the Haitian, are the Haitians practicing God's laws? Haitian voodoo. So that means what? They turn their back against God. Okay, I'm you, you get what I'm saying? So they, they just prayed the twice. There, there you go. Give me Genesis uh, uh, 39. Simeon and Levi, verse 5. I'm going to show you something. Because what you reap what you sow in life. It's as simple as that. It's the uh, it's the exactly. Because if you start selling drugs today, what are the odds of you getting shot one day? There you go. It comes with the territory, right? So if you, if you keep practicing voodoo, what are the odds of you being cursed by God? God is going to curse you one day. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 5. Uh -huh. well, Simeon and Levi are brethren. So Simeon and Levi are brethren. Those are the Haitians and the Dominicans. They are brothers. Read. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. What is the instrument of cruelty that's in the house of the Haitians and the house of the Dominicans? That's two different things. Instrument of cruelty. What instrument do they use to commit crime with? Two specific ones. Gun. Voodoo and machetes. Gun is, gun is new. Gun is new. Gun is new. Gun is new because guess what? Uh, I would say, I left Haiti in 93. In 93, up to 93, if you was not in the military, you was not a police, you wasn't running around shooting people with guns. But they were chopping up people like steak in the street with machetes. So machetes have always been our weapon of choice. And even the people who try to fight against the gangs, what do they have? Machetes. They were chosen to change the colonial side. You understand? Exactly. That's how we revolted. So the instrument of cruelty that's in our habitation is voodoo and um, machetes. So now, go to um, Malachi 2 and 7. So because we choose not to do what God chose, I mean, asked us to do, we become what? The lowest people on earth. Right. When you look at the Western Hemisphere, are we not the lowest among everybody? Come on. Bring it out. We are the lowest of everybody. And am I, are we not? We turn, back. we turn our back against God. Yeah. Even when we come to America, we looked upon we look down they look down upon us. Right. You damn Haitian. You know what I'm saying? You damn sac passe. Right. How, how long you been living here? Six months. Six months. So there's histories you don't know. There was a time back in the 80s, they call you HBO. Now you think that's the TV station? Nah, you know what it stands for? No. Haitian body odor. They used to say Haitian stinks. Back in the 80s, you had to fight every day because that's how bad it was here. Nobody wants to be a Haitian. But because why? We turn our back against the Lord. Read that. The book of Malachi chapter two and verse seven. Bring it up. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The Levites, if you understand the Bible, were the priests of the Most High God. We were the highest, the upper echelon of society in Israel when we ruled the world. Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So, on the priest's lips, we were supposed to teach knowledge. Keep reading. And they should they should seek the law at his mouth. That's the knowledge the people were supposed to be seeking from our mouth. The laws of God. That's knowledge. Right. You could go to school and become a doctor. You have knowledge, but you don't have the knowledge of God. Right. right. You understand what I'm saying? Because yeah. to have the knowledge of God is what? Is to keep God's laws, statutes, right, right. commandments. Read from the top. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. The priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they, the people, they should come to the priest to seek what? The laws of God. Read. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. We are what? For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Because the Levites were the messengers of God. So, in a, nut, in a nutshell, if you say you're a priest, you're supposed to be teaching the people the laws, right? Are the Catholics priests teaching the laws of God? Are the uh, churches teaching the laws of God? No. 
is the voodoo priest teaching the laws of God? No. So there's a problem right there. Because according to the Bible, if you call yourself a spiritual man, you're supposed to be teaching God's laws. Right. But in Haiti, the voodoo priest is teaching God's laws. Yeah. The Catholic priest is teaching God's laws. Right. The sacred heart brothers are teaching God's laws. Right. The Protestant, the uh, Mormons, the Methodists, all those churches are not teaching God's laws. Right. So that means the whole nation have turned their back against God. Right. Read. But ye are departed out of the way. Most I say you departed out of the way. We turn from righteousness to unrighteousness. Read. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. So because we turn our back from God, we cause a lot more people to stumble. Yeah. Because if I'm, if I'm your father and I'm living wrong, are you not going to follow my, 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 my steps? No. Come on. You're my child. I'm raising you. So if I'm raising you, whatever I do, that's what you're going to be doing. Yeah, that's why, but some, some, some people do. do. Here's the thing. Later on in life, after you go through life, a change might happen. But the kid follow their dad. There's no six-year-old kid running around talking about, nah, I'm not, I'm not following my dad. Whatever your dad is doing, that's what you're doing. No, there right. are some kids that not following his dad, but in some cases, so... My friend, I don't know any six-year-old kids that don't love their dad, that don't follow their dad everywhere. I want to say that so right. I don't know what kind of kid you've been dealing with, but a six-year-old follow his dad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But ye have departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Uh -huh. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi. So we corrupted the covenant we made with the Most High God. Where, where the covenant was what? To teach the people the law. But oh. we're not doing that today. Read. Say it the Lord of hosts. Therefore. Because of that. Pay attention to this part. Because yeah. of that. Read. Have I also made you contemptible and base. Because of that I'm going to make you hate you. I'm going to make you be hated. And you're going to be the lowest. When you see base, that's the root word for basement. You don't get no lower than that. So among all the 12 tribes, we are the lowest. What? You understand? We are the lowest. We eating dirt pie for a living. We're rolling in mud. Think about this for a second. You were, I'm glad you said you've been, you, you left Haiti six months ago. No, I'm not left Haiti six months ago. I was in Dominican Republic. Oh, I got you. You've been living here for six months ago, but... Uh, what year you left Haiti? So, 2021. 2021. In your life in Haiti, you have you seen voodoo priests throughout your life? Yeah, I didn't say go see them. I don't know if you do voodoo. Uh, you do voodoo, right? No, I'm not. I'm not doing. My mom do it. Your mom do voodoo, but you with you've seen voodoo priests, right? Yes. Are they not usually dirty? No. Huh? I'm I'm not only focused about that. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like throughout my life in Haiti, walking around. Oh, that's a voodoo priest. That's you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, yeah, that's a voodoo priest. Have you ever seen them really driving penzes? No. Living large? No, they all broke. Broke, right? Yeah. So hold up. You mean to tell me you broke as hell. You barely have a shoe in your foot. But I'm gonna go see you. And you're gonna do something to make me rich. Teach them all. Yeah. Yeah. Wake you it up. That's right. But you broke. Yeah. If you go, you can you, you can teach me how, how to get rich. Because if think about this, if what you're telling me to do, if it actually worked, why it didn't work for you? Right. We get up. Wake up. <laughs> you want me to go to Sodo, roll up in mud, bathe in mud like a pig, and then after that I'm gonna be blessed. No, after that I'm gonna be stinking. Right. Ain't no blessing coming next to me when right. I stink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want me to kill an animal and eat the heart and do something to drink the blood? Why did it work for you? Yes. So here's the thing. Voodoo, they said voodoo is so powerful, right? I watched a video on YouTube where a group of uh, Uga did something around Bawa Samji to supposed to stop the gangs from doing what they're doing. They say after today, ain't no more gangs in Haiti. Hold up, last I checked, the gangs just took over. Yeah. So why that voodoo didn't work? Well, I don't know. Wait, come on. No, you, you do know. You know why it didn't work? Because it's voodoo and shit. Because right. Right. voodoo is garbage. Right. Right. Because yeah. if voodoo is so powerful, pay attention to something. The Haitian people are doing voodoo. You with me? The gangs are doing voodoo. So, help me understand. Bring it out. Bring it out, Bring it out. The gang right. says that their voodoo is working better than the people's voodoo. But they do different things in the voodoo. Oh, they do different things. So whatever the thing that they're doing, why they're not doing something to stop the gangs? Right. Yeah. Why they're in the street crying, losing their houses, dying everywhere? Because they can't. It doesn't work. Right. 
You understand? It doesn't work. Because guess what? Ain't no voodoo before guns, my friend. You know? Ain't no voodoo before fire. Right. Those are the elements of God. Fire right. will burn you. Right. So when they cast out a, a wuga and light him up on fire, why he doesn't do the voodoo for the fire to go out? We get up. You get what you get what I'm saying? We are we believe in false things. So Musa said, because of that, I'm gonna miss you base and contemptible. Give me um this is Psalm 14, last verse 20, uh, 23, I believe. So I'm gonna show you why the people are dying in hate. And until they understand that and change their ways. Ain't nothing gonna change. Right, right. Read last verse. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 31. For it is not the power of them by whom they swear. So it is not the power by them of whom they swear. What power do Haitian people swear by? You know that? Papa Legba, Ramo Samti, all them different deities, right? That's the power they swear by. The Bible says it is not the power by them which they swear. Go ahead. But it is the just vengeance of sinners that punisheth always the offense of the ungodly. So it is not the voodoo that's killing people, but it's the just vengeance of sinners. Is their sin right, right. that's killing them? Right. right, right You've right. done so much voodoo. Most I take another wicked man to kill you. Right. The wickedness of the wicked kills him. You understand what I'm saying? It's their sin that's killing them. But they swear so much by witchcraft. Read that verse again. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, and verse 31. Bro. For it is not the power of them by whom they swear, but it is the just vengeance of sinners that punisheth always the offense of the ungodly. So it's your sin that's killing you. When you're in sin, most are going to send a spirit to kick your butt. Right, right. Uh, give me Psalm 94 verse uh, 23. Psalm 94 verse 23. We're going to show you in the Bible why Haitians are dying in Haiti. And until they understand that peace and turn to the Most High God, it's always going to be like that. Right. Read. The book of Psalms chapter 94 in verse 23. Read yeah. it and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Listen to this. He said... God we're gonna, is going to bring upon them their own iniquity, their own sin. And he's going to cut them off. Because guess who does the... Who kills? God or the devil? The devil. Oh, the devil. I think so. You think so? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Finish that verse. <laughs> and, it, and, he shall, and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. The here is, is God. He said God is going to bring upon their head their own iniquity. Go ahead. And shall cut them off from... Shall cut them off in their own wickedness. He's going to kill them in their own wickedness. So while you're sitting there doing all that voodoo, you're going to die in it. Right. Because there's no, there's nothing good coming out of voodoo. Right. There's nothing good coming out of the Catholic Church, the Protestant Church, right. the right. Methodist Church, the right. Baptist Church. Right. None of those places. You're going to die up. in those places if you don't repent. Read. Right. Right. Yay! The Lord our God shall cut them off. Who's going to cut them off? The Lord, our God. So who kills? God kills. That's That's right. The church have lied to you. They tell you, you need to fear the devil and love Jesus. Well, here's the thing. You need to love Jesus and fear God. Right. That's right. Because it's God that does the killing. Right. Let's back it up. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. They will never read this verse in church for you. See now that I, uh -huh. even I, am he, and there is no God with me. God say, I am he. I'm the ultimate done that the top shutter. He said, there's no God with me. I'm the top dude. Read. I kill. Who does the killing? I kill. God said, I kill. Go ahead. And I make a lie. And I make a lie. The devil don't kill nobody. Wow. The devil cannot touch you unless the most high God given permission to touch you. Wow. He's a worker. He works for the Lord God. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? He's like a capo in, in God's army. When God wants somebody dead, he said, yo, you know what? I give you permission. Go ahead, touch him. Read. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my head. Neither is there any that can deliver out of God's hand. Because when God said you dead, you dead. Uh -huh. Give me um, uh, Kings. Last verse. 34, 21. Give me that first. Psalm 34, 21. And then give me uh, 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 First King, last chapter. So li listen to this. 
the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 21. Yes. Yes. Evil shall slay the wicked. Evil shall do what? Shall slay the wicked. Evil shall slay the wicked. So you want to be wicked. You want to be in witchcraft. You want to be in voodoo. Most likely going to send an evil spirit to kill you. Right. So the Haitians are dying because of voodoo. Right. It's payback for all the wickedness that they have done in Haiti. Right. Think about this for a second. Why Haiti is in the state that it's in? What happened in Haiti in February? What were the people doing? You Haitian? Ah, right, let me rephrase the question this way. You might understand it better. The, the main focus is what happened this February, but I'm going to rephrase the question the way you can remember what happened. What happened? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Listen, 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 listen. What happened in Haiti every February? February 7th. Oh, the. Uh... Start with a C. I'm going to help you out. Um, 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 Start with a C. Hold on, hold on. I got the name, but one second. I'm going to give him some. No, no. Carnival. The carnival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all some vacations out here. <laughs> so, so pay attention. The country's a mess. Right. You with me? Yeah. And while the country's a mess, you wanna you wanna go shake your ass in carnival? And and you then you still don't understand why the, why, why things like this is still happening. First of all, carnival is debauchery. Right. You know carnival is the worship of a god named Bacchus. Right. The god of orgy and wine. Because what happened to carnival? Get drunk, find a girl, have yeah. sex, and kill and fight. Yeah. I used to go to carnival. We lift weights all year, me and my boy Ben. To get brolic and do what? By the yeah. You see what I'm saying? That's what we did for carnival. And on the last day of carnival, you don't want to be the last one to get hit. Because you got to wait next year to get your revenge. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? So that's not godly. You get drunk to go beat up people, find a girl, have sex, and probably nine months later you get a baby. That's why they call him carnival baby. A lot of women go get pregnant and then come back home to you and say that's your baby. Right, right. Meanwhile, she was shaking her ass. All the dudes on carnival, butt naked. Is that godly? No. But you want God to smile on Haiti while you stay in witchcraft. Right, nah, bro. God don't play like that. Read that. Psalm 34 and verse 21. Bro. Evil shall slay the wicked. Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And they that hate the righteous, all Haitians in Haiti hate righteousness. How, why do I, first of all, what is righteousness? So you can understand why I say they hate righteousness. Give me that, Deuteronomy 625. Because before you answer that question, you need to understand what is righteousness. Then you can understand why I say they hate righteousness. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Bring it up. And it shall and it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? Our righteousness. Uh -huh. If we observe to do all these commandments. So the Bible said it's gonna be our righteousness if we observe to do all his commandments. I'm gonna back it up. Give me Luke. Give me Luke. So if we to be righteous is to walk in the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high God. Right. You with me so far? I'm going to back it up with a second precept, and then I'm going to re-ask the question. Man. Luke chapter 1 and verse 5. Yeah. It was in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zacharias. And that was a Haitian. The Levites, or the Israelites, the tribe of Levi, they are the Haitians. Yeah. Zachariah was a Levite. That's the father of John the Baptist. We were the high priest of the Lord God. Read. Of the course of Abia, uh -huh. and his wife of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they... We're both righteous before God. They were both righteous. Let's see what made them righteous before God. So you, today you're going to find out if you want to be righteous before God, what must you do? And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. So they were walking in all the commandments and the statutes and the ordinance of the Lord blameless. That means they did it to the T. Right. So read the psalm again and then I'm going to ask the question. So now you know what righteousness is. Right? Let's read Psalm again and I'm going to re-ask the question. Read. Psalm chapter 34 verse 21. Yo! Evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. So the Bible said they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. That means destroyed. I say Haitian people hate righteousness. So based on what righteousness is, you are now.
Why do I make that statement? Because uh, in church they say righteousness is like the ill. We just read what righteousness is. No, I, I knew that. No, okay, so why do I say, based on what the Bible is saying, why do I say Haitian hate righteousness? Because they don't like the laws. They don't like the commitments. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word, his word, his word. Let me show ya Greatest by far Let me show ya Don't know who you are Let me